and your boys on the treadmill today and it is day nine out of 60 of our live streams i'm just gonna get a little bit of a filter here Ooh, ooh, okay that's a nice little filter all right day nine out of 60 of our live streams and today the topic is why your legs are in growing i run it because i am doing a lot more upper body work but we're going to be talking about the main reasons why you think you're training your legs crazy hard you're giving them your hundred percent but why aren't they still growing why are they still staying the same why are they getting smaller okay so we're gonna dive right into it but before we get into it make sure you hit that like button comment subscribe for more and your boy has got you okay i'm going to be going live daily to make sure you turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on the session because um these might be the answers to all the problems that you might be looking for and it might just be in the live stream that you missed so i don't want you guys to miss out i want you to join me and feel free to support turn on super chat send me some money or support whatever whatever you guys want to do i'm happy young money cash money billionaires i'm sure you've changed your name again what's up what's up what's up and say hi when you jump into the chat so a topic of today why your legs aren't growing okay what are you doing okay first of all a lot of people jump straight into big compound movements like squats um deadlifts okay and don't get me wrong although they are the king of all exercises they're amazing they are great for leg growth they also do require a lot of control a lot of balance um, a lot of mind to muscle connection in order to execute these exercises properly so my biggest advice if you are just starting high antonio um, don't jump straight into these exercises don't jump straight into a squat or a deadlift if this is your first time lifting okay first of all um go into your machine movements okay learn how to activate these legs okay because usually they're the same so you go into hack squat for instance okay um it is exactly the same technique that you utilize when you actually are going to be doing a conventional squat okay when you get into the a bar with a rack and you're squatting exactly the same technique although you're in the machine okay you're protected you go basically an inbuilt core with the machine so it's a lot easier to hack squat than it is to do a barbell squat because there's a lot more control needed okay so one of the biggest reasons why people don't grow while using big compound movements like legs is one they have no core control um two your body isn't used to this exercise so you're going to be everywhere you're going to be using different muscles to stabilize you're going to be putting a lot of pressure on your joints because your body isn't used to this movement it's not merely because you don't have the strength it's merely because you just don't know how to execute the movement and that's normal that's human nature okay so start off from the basics learn how to execute these movements properly before you jump straight into the big squat movements okay so that is number one number two a lot of people focus again which is kind of similar to this a lot of people focus more on lifting heavy weights okay than they do on actually executing the exercise properly now one of the rules of biomechanics is that your mechanical tension is actually going to contribute a little bit more than your human physiological um, strength so what this simply means is if you if you apply if you apply the right mechanical tension and your physiological capabilities don't allow you to execute the movement as efficiently you will in turn be stronger okay this in short or in simplified terms means that your form is always triumphant over the weight okay and this applies in muscle activation too okay so form and technique over weight after you've mastered your form and technique then start to slowly progressively increase the load or your resistance or your weight that you're using okay this will take you very far not just with legs but with every single exercise that you do okay take your time be patient it's not a rush it's not a sprint it's a marathon it's something you want to do for life or for a long period of time i hope so anyway okay number three you want your legs to grow but you're not eating enough okay you need to eat to grow okay and when i say eat it doesn't necessarily mean eat kfc like me all the time <laughs> i mean fuel your body with enough nutrients to recover okay now when it comes to muscle hypertrophy one of the biggest things that we have to focus on is recovery okay like i told about in my previous live streams recovery is super important now i want you guys to really really emphasize on that okay your sleep you know your protein intake carbohydrate intake even your fat intake okay but you guys gotta take into consideration 
your macronutrients, what roles they play, your micronutrients, what roles they play, you all know your protein is re responsible for your recovery. You all know carbs can also spike your insulin levels and actually act as a transport system to allow your proteins to basically um, or aid in faster recovery, okay? You all know fat is responsible for your hormones, your natural testosterone levels as well too, which will allow you to execute um, more energy or output more energy and also um, improve your mechanical tension and physiological stress or metabolic stress on the muscle, okay? So all of these things come together and they're important. This is why it is essential for you to actually know your nutrition, know what foods are good for you, know what foods will aid you with recovery as well. So eating well is important. Now, I'm not saying you have to eat chicken and broccoli all the time. I'm just saying fuel yourself with um, food that has nutrition quality. Now, another thing is if you're in a deficit, you're not going to be growing. It's, it's science. It's knowledge. It is the right thing. It's 100%. You can't escape it. If you're in a deficit, your body needs these nutrients. Okay? You are going to... You, you might be putting some stress in the muscle. You might get leaner and it might actually make your legs appear leaner. It might actually make your shape come out more, which might make your legs look bigger. That's cool. Doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be growing. Okay, your growth is always gonna happen in your surplus phase. So you gotta understand that and get that through. Okay, now there's some exception to this. Okay, most people that are starting um, lifting or training properly in the right way, ideally, might actually have the beginner gains. That's what we call it. Okay, and beginner gains. That you can be trained for ten years and still get beginner gains because you could be trained for ten years. Doesn't necessarily mean you train properly. Okay, might start do things properly. And boom, you might see this huge spike, leg growth and arm growth, you know? But knowing how to train properly, like I just said, your mechanical tension plays a huge role. What's up, what's up, Mr. Liquid? How are we doing? Okay, so these are these play huge and important roles in the body. These play huge and important roles when it comes to muscle growth, when it comes to recovery. Okay, so these are some of the things to consider. Um, now, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below because I want to help you guys as much as possible. Let's go on to number four. What well, is the fourth reason why your legs aren't growing? Because you're not trained hard enough. Now your legs are your biggest muscle groups in the body they're supposed to be anyway. However, that also means with great power comes great responsibility, okay? So, responsibility, power. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to train them hard. Means it ain't gonna be an easy day, okay? Uh, there's lots of benefits to training the legs. Your natural testosterone levels shoot through the roof because they're the biggest muscle groups. Feel stronger as a term, um, energetic. But some of the negatives is the bloody hard sessions to get through. Um, it requires you to be mentally switched on to do a leg session, okay? Um, so you don't go in there half hours and expect to get the best session. If you go in there half hours, what do you do? You switch your mindset. You start to think about why you're doing it. You get onto your program, okay? You focus, you refocus, okay? Um, your mental um, your mental alertness has to be there when you are training legs, okay? Um, so yeah, Trey, why? How do you know when you've worked out enough? Like, do you work out until you're just tired? No, 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 okay? So this is where it comes to analyzing your training and structuring your training. That's when it, that gets important, okay? Now, ideally, people will train Till they can't lift anymore or train till they're tired okay now there's so many different um and this is a very complicated question although it sounds very simple it's very complicated okay so how do i know i've trained enough okay maybe my muscles might start giving up for a resistance training session let's say a cardiovascular training session it might be a little bit different okay so we need to structure our training okay like i said when you're a beginner i wouldn't be going for like an hour and a half training sessions, okay? That's not ideal for you. Let's start training for 45 minutes as a beginner, okay? Or even 30 minutes, okay? Maybe I did about four exercises, four sets per exercise. That's good enough for me. I'll probably end up being sore with that, okay? That's a nice little marker we can actually use to judge. That's our delayed onset muscle soreness, okay? Now, this is not everything, but that would be a good marker or indicator of how far I should push myself. Next time, I'll probably go for about 50 minutes for a workout. Or maybe two weeks later, I'll do that. So what you want to do is basically pace yourself, okay? 
you'll be able to tell by how fast your body is recovering from your sessions okay now the way i judge how good my training sessions <laughs> generally when i'm absolutely spent my muscles are gone doesn't necessarily mean you should okay it all depends on your split with training now some people might be training seven days a week some i only train five to six days a week okay resistance training that is i do my cardio also on the extra days because i just love to be active in general so that's different everyone is different the way they train everyone's been trained for a different period of time um, everyone trains for different reasons so this is where it gets complicated without question and it gets very specific um, depending on what your goal is but ideally if you are training for muscle building your muscles should be spent you should be struggling to lift anymore you should actually start to struggle to ideally lift at your 60 to 70 percent of the weight that you're lifting that's how you know you've trained well that's my personal question so if i was hitting, hitting like about 60 to 70 percent i should struggle for five to six reps okay ideally that's when i know i've trained well that's how you know you've been spent okay and that's during your session that's not after that you've had a big rest okay and then you got to give your central nervous system a little bit of a break afterwards okay so overtraining ain't gonna do you no good but also not training hard enough ain't not gonna do you no good so that's where you gotta find the balance that's where you gotta find the fine line and now it's very hard because everyone is different so best way to do it you go hard or go home make sure you eat well sleep recover yeah very true thank you for that great response i have another question when do you know when you've overworked okay i love that i love that see overtraining is is very it's not talked about much the reason why is because everyone wants to be a savage everyone wants to be a beast everyone wants to walk out of the gym feeling like a mother effing beast okay that's cool until it starts to catch up to you okay you're gonna start to feel super tired okay even on days that you've been you felt like you've had enough rest you know you've had six to eight hours sleep you wake up and you're still gonna be tired okay that's um assuming your nutrition has been good too okay um your energy levels are going to be low you're going to be lifting a lot less be able to lift a lot less than you usually lift that's when you know you are starting to hit the overtraining levels now what this basically is doing or what it means is too much pressure pressure on your central nervous system as well too um too much pressure on your adrenals so you're overdoing the pre-workout of the coffees as well too and then what that means is it's time to pipe it down doesn't matter if you're getting headaches for um for not having coffee it's time to take care of yourself and take care of you okay so overworking yourself it's not a good thing okay your central nervous you have to give your body or your central nervous system enough time to catch up with that being said some people are mere models not everyone is born the same not everyone's born equal some people can recover like crazy for some people over trainers not in the dictionary and that's totally fine we're all human we all got our own gifts you know so look like i say always focus on yourself focus on your physique focus on your goals personally because my goals ain't going to be the same as trace have you ever overworked did you keep your workouts consistent i have look i've been training for over 14 years now i've made lots and lots of mistakes which is actually a great um reason why i like to share mine with you and I like to share the things I've learned with you so I can help you guys and you know help you skip those mistakes that I've made um, yes I have overtrained lots of times and to be honest with you I still do it sometimes <laughs> it's like I never learn um, and one of the hardest things for me to do is actually not overtrain <laughs> so like I laugh when people say oh I, I struggle like I don't get enough time to work out or don't get enough because for me it's the opposite you know i i can't sometimes prioritize my training too much yes terence doing the cardio workout if you joined this live stream make sure you hit that like button um keep throwing in those questions guys i'm loving it um legend thanks for hitting that like appreciate you appreciate you appreciate you appreciate you and if you guys are liking these live streams as well let me know um i've got 60 days of it so make sure you turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on even one day every single day <laughs> yes terence very rare moment here yeah. <laughs> cardio in my dictionary look the fact that i'm not doing cardio every single time i'm live doesn't mean i don't do cardio i do a lot of cardio i've got a bloody 
I saw a bike at home. <laughs> I do that shizzles. Um, how about we also who work six days in a, in a week? Oh, Mr. Graf Language. Shout out to Mr. Graf Language. Absolute legend. Thanks for the super chat. Thanks for sending your boy money. Now I can go buy some KFC after this workout. Thank you. Thanks, homie. How about we also who work those six days in a week? Time is not on our side. Is there any quick train for us? Yes. Okay. So, Mr. Liquid, one of the best ways ideally it's actually a program i'm developing called the metabolic training program and the metabolic principles are amazing i'll tell you why so the beauty of metabolic training is that you essentially give your muscles less time to recover still pushing us maximal effort okay um and when you look at the hypertrophy graph although lifting heavier is higher on the scale you are also allowed able to put in enough volume in a shorter period of time in short metabolic training is easy on your joints but you can still achieve these same results as lifting heavy or uh, while training okay so it is just as efficient so metabolic training is what's on the list that's what i'm going to be talking about hey what's up thank you trey thanks for you this one is for the main course oh what an absolute legend you guys are absolute legends thank you so much i appreciate you thanks thank you massive shout out to trey massive shout out to graph language you guys are the real mvps now i can buy kfc i can buy Marcus, and i can buy you know i can buy some hot dogs as well too thanks guys thanks for the um super chats you guys are the real mvps thanks guys Woo. Sheesh, keep asking those questions away and keep donating to your boy. Make your boy some money. <laughs> Sheesh, guys. So, yeah, guys, I'm um, talking again about your metabolic training. This one is, I'm going to make a special one for you guys as well. Um, also, guys, just for this live stream alone, for everyone that donated, so Graph for Trey, could you send me a message on my Instagram? Because once I release my metabolic train, I'm actually going to be giving you guys a free metabolic guide. Okay, so you guys are going to be some of the first people to actually get this once it's released. I appreciate you. I'm actually going to screenshot this right now. Just so when you guys are on my live streams next, just in case I don't get your message on Insta, um, I can still send it to you. I really appreciate it, guys. You guys are absolutely the real MVPs. Um, I appreciate all the support. I appreciate all the love. You guys are the real legends. Thanks, guys. So, yeah, you guys, Trey, Graph Language, you're going to be some of the first recipients of my metabolic new, newest metabolic training program. It's going to be awesome. I appreciate the KFC and the markets that I'm going to be buying with this. Um, <laughs> you guys are legends, absolute legends. Now, while I'm here, do you guys have any questions? Uh, like I said, I'm here to help you guys. You know, your boys Trey and Graf have donated for you guys. Uh, they're basically paying my they're paying my salary to be here right now. You know, so I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the love and support. Um, you guys are the real MVPs. In fact, I'm actually gonna put my incline up on one for the donations. So that's really good, and put my speed up a little bit more too, because you guys are just motivated me to work harder. <laughs> absolute 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 legends guys i just want to say thank you guys um thanks so much for your time i appreciate you guys i appreciate a lot the love and support continuously guys if you have any questions um within the next few minutes please drop them drop them um but please don't forget to message me on instagram trey and um graph aquamadua with the blue tick um and yes you are going to be the first recipient of my program my intention didn't actually say anything about that in this live stream i just want to be a surprise you know i appreciate you guys being very given coming back on my live streams time and time and continuously super chatting and supporting your boy this support means a lot go a long way but it doesn't only just help me oh, oh my god whoa whoa trey absolute legend bro thank you thank thank you for the super chat this is this is we've got kentucky fried chicken on the list we've got some mcdonald's 
I think we're gonna go into Red Rooster as well. Okay, so I got the main course. We need some dessert. So maybe, maybe I get some Krispy Kreme after as well too. <laughs> okay, I have another question. What do you find more enjoyable, training others, influencing them, or competing in competitions for yourself? In all honesty, the most gratifying thing is training others and seeing them do well. Like, um, I'll tell you a few stories, okay? Some of the things that have touched my heart this year has been crazy, crazy weight loss, or even small weight loss, but not just the weight loss journeys, okay? I've had a lot of clients that have said they've only started to enjoy training. They've been training for years, but they've only started to enjoy training since they've been training with me. And now, they actually go to the gym and enjoy it. That's for me, it's just creating that habit, so you enjoy, okay? So, my biggest gratifying thing is seeing people do well. It's amazing. It's also seeing the product of my work. I feel like I've been a part of the journey. I feel like I've been there with you guys. So influencing people, helping you guys. You guys come down and be like, I tried your exercise to work. I tried this workout work for me. That's, that's go. Oh, Trey, 49. Oh my God. Trey, what the fudge? You are amazing. Absolute legend. Wow. Wow, Trey. Holy moly. You bloody legend. Trey, Trey. Hit me up. Make sure you send me a message on Instagram. Wow. This is for the dessert, my guy. This is your last one. Oh, right, bro. You've literally, you've, you've literally made, you've made my day. you made my day. My homie, absolute legend. You are an absolute legend. Thank you so much. Everyone, a huge, huge, a massive shout out to Trey. Absolute legend. This is my Kentucky Fried Chicken, my, my cheeseburger, my Red Rooster. I've got Krispy Kremes. My Insta is Aquami Duo. So the same as my YouTube, but you see a blue tick there. So you'll be able to find it pretty easy. Bless up, Trey. Bless up. Everyone, oh, can everyone in the chat right now say thank you, Trey? Because you're not only just giving me something, you're also motivating me to do this more and more often. You know, it makes me just want to feed more knowledge to you guys. Okay. Please, everyone in the chat say thank you. Thank you, Trey. Thank you, Trey. I appreciate I really appreciate it guys. That's that's very kind. Absolute legend. Now I got my Kentucky fried chicken, my McDonald's, my red rooster. Oh my god, my hot pot, <laughs> my Krispy Kreme donuts, everything. Thank you. Thanks, Shad, for shouting out Trey. Thanks, Trey. Everyone, thank you, thank you so much, Trey. Thank you. Whew. What an absolute legend. Thanks, guys. You guys are the, you guys are the real MVP. Now, before we go, before I go, does anyone have any questions? Trey, you've paved the way. You've, you've, you've really, you've, really you've, you've, you've blown my mind, bro. You've blown, you've blown my mind. This is awesome. You, absolute legend. I've got a whole main course in dessert. Like, absolute legend. And um, I think, um, yeah, I'm gonna be eating a massive meal tonight. Some KFC, some, can't some some red rooster some everything everything absolute legend i honestly appreciate it i re really appreciate the love and support guys really i really appreciate it thanks so much <sighs> guys before i go does anyone have any questions at all absolute legends like i said i always want to help you what's in my shaker i've been posting this on instagram a lot everyone's been asking what's in my shaker what's in my shaker okay what's in my shaker Right now I've got Enel Exploit, which is a pre-workout, but I've also got some electrolytes, okay? Now I've got a Hydrolyte Electrolyte Powder. Very cheap, very easy to get. Um, you get a whole tub in. I've got a Hydrolyte Sport. Got some calcium in there, got some magnesium. Got all the elements, that, sorry, the nutrients you need for muscle contraction. It's bloody brilliant, okay? I found them one of the best. One of the best. Um, yeah, guys. Again, massive, massive thank you. I appreciate you. Um, how do you know you messaged me on Insta? All right, I'm gonna go down my Instagram straight after this and send you a message. I'm also going to be sending you my metabolic program and graph language. Thank you, I really appreciate the support. I wanna see your progress too. Uh, so you gotta keep me updated, but I'll message you. Trey, what's your Insta handle as well? So, cause I'm gonna have to <laughs> screen through my message requests <laughs> to find you 
just in case. Um, at least we'll be on this live chat so I can come back to it. So, um, what's your Insta handle? Can you check in your Insta handle here? Thank you. Thanks, Mary Cho, for supporting Trey. Everyone, um, a big thank you to Trey. Huge thank you to Graph as well just for continuously supporting. I appreciate that. I see what you guys do. Appreciate Trey, one, two, three, four, five. I just sent to a legend. Thank you. The good thing about that is also saved in this live stream. So I can, I can always go back to it. Thank you, Coach. You're the best. Very positive and motivating. Thank you for your videos. I appreciate you guys. And it's good to hear this, you know. This keeps, keeps me motivated. Keeps me making videos for you guys as well. And yeah, makes us all happy. Always want to create a happy place for everyone. Not just for me, for us. Woo. Thanks so much, guys. All right, Trey, I'll be checking your message on Instagram. Um, for all of you that don't follow my Instagram, make sure you check out Aquami Dua. So the first part. Thank you. Thanks, guys. That's very kind. You guys just made my day. You made my day. You made my stomach. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. And guys, hell, if you want to follow my TikTok, jump on the two, Kwame Do Official. Got that blue tick as well, too, so you find it pretty easy. I just got here, but I looked at the last conversation. I was also wondering when you know when you have worked out enough. So, this is actually a very big question, obviously, on when you know if you've worked out enough. Thanks, guys. This is actually a really good one. And I'll just quickly go through it again. I'm glad that you're able to find that. Mary, like I was saying, it's very dependent on everyone, okay? But what you want to do ideally if you're doing resistance training is based on like a good indicator could be if you're hitting about your 60-70% of your one rep max, if you can still perform about six or eight reps of that still, that's a little bit of an indicator while you're still training, while you're still in your training zone, okay? Now, obviously you probably want to be about 30 to 40 minutes in if you've been training for a while. Um, while you try this out, it's a little bit of an indicator, depending on the exercise you've done. But it's a little bit of an indicator to give you an idea as to where you're at. Again, guys, I just want to say a big thank you. I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much. My treadmill is now starting to stop. I'm going to stay on here till the 30 minute mark. Um, yeah. Drop any questions while I'm here as well, too. You guys are the real MVPs. Thanks so much. Whew. Feeling the sweat, feeling, feeling the gains. Ah, feeling good, feeling good. Ah. I got a low battery on my phone. See you later, Trey. Thanks again so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you all for joining this live stream. You guys are the real MVPs. Um, thank you. I'm just doing some dips now. Thanks, thanks so much, guys. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm signing out. Your boy is out. I appreciate the love and support. Trey, I'm gonna message you on Instagram. Um, thanks so much, you guys. Make sure you hit that like button for anyone joining um, this live stream later on as well too. Okay, so I have another question. What is your big dream or your end goal? Okay, what is my, that's a very nice one actually. And that's very like personal. Um, my end goal, and I know it sounds, it sounds very cliche is, just ultimate happiness and when i say ultimate happiness um doesn't necessarily mean i'm going to be happy all the time because i understand that in life you can't be um, happy all the time this is going to get very deep guys um is me being at a good place to appreciate when i see um you know adversities i see hurdles and i know that they're there to help me remember like remembering that life also always works with us not against us and knowing that you can learn from adversities and hurdles so look i understand that that's the case but it's me being in a good place to continuously with every single situation or every single hurdle i'm faced with i know that it's just life just trying to teach me a lesson and me trying to overcome these hurdles that's a happy place for me also seeing other people happy like seeing seeing people make progress is for me continuously builds my happiness and seeing everyone get stronger fitter living a healthier lifestyle living a balanced lifestyle everyone being happy with where they are with their physique with their lifestyle uh, mentally and everyone gaining growth in some sort of way you know i always i'm always willing to learn i'm always learning and i'm always trying to help and give them back so me being able to give what i've learned out and also seeing other people 
um, give back, you know, in the society and then creating a good environment where everyone will actually do the same, you know? Um, that's the kind of world I want to create. So, look, I ain't no Thanos or anything, um, but I just, I want to just create a happy place. Like I said, happiness doesn't necessarily mean smiles all the, all the time, but understanding that there's a reason for hurdles in life. Remember, life always works with us, okay? But us actually understanding that hurdles are there to challenge us and help us learn. So that's, that's my ultimate goal, is to be able to be familiar with that and understand that more. Ultimate physique goals, um, I'm pretty happy with my physique is that at the moment. I mean, I just have little waves where I want to get leaner, or I want to get fitter, or I want to get faster. I want to. I'm also starting to get into a little bit of calisthenics, so I want to probably improve some of my calisthenics um, techniques too. Um, so yeah, amen to the bro. God loves you so much. I feel like saying that to you today. Thank you. I appreciate. It. I'm Christian myself as well too. So um, yeah, that hits hard. All right, guys. I just want to say thank you. Thanks so much, Trey. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Um, thanks for creating the vibe. You guys are the real MVPs. Um, and yeah, I, I hope I catch you guys um, on my next live stream as well. If you just joined this live stream, please hit that like button as well. And please make sure you check out, scroll back and actually um, read through the comments because there's some knowledge in there that has been balanced in and I hope all of you get to benefit from it. Um, again, thank you so much for your time. Your boy is out. Peace, much love and respect.